Buenas tardes, ladies and gentlemen of the world. What's going on? Your host, AMF1534 here, and I have a really bad headache. And welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as we steal a Vincent. I don't really know what kind of car a Vincent is, but we're stealing it and we're not doing it very effectively. <laughs> that was, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, like a Volvo. Maybe like a Saab, perhaps. So yeah, I apologize if I if I seem a little out of sorts today. I've got a I woke up this morning with a really bad headache and it's just not going away. I, I took some some lovely Advil liquid gels and uh, that did not I did not take care of that very well. I'm thinking what it might be. I think I just need to eat something. I, I haven't eaten yet today, which uh, I'm thinking that corned beef hash and eggs with a banana might be uh, might be in the cards for the afternoon. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that after this, because we're going back to see Dr. Jizz. Dr. Jizz Master, the master of the white fluid of your balls. He is he is the man we're going to see. And uh, we'll see what he's got for us, because last time our mission was actually really fun. It was weird, uh, but it was fun. Oh my god! That would be a terrible way to go. I actually... Uh, my, my old next door neighbor uh, from childhood, I think it was like his cousin, uh, his cousin died in a similar way that I just emulated right there. Not nearly as extreme as I did it, but she uh, she was driving with a couple of friends and she lost control of her car and literally wrapped her car around a tree and, uh, and she died. That was the first funeral I ever went to, by the way, and that was really, like I didn't, it was weird because like I was still a kid. And, like, I didn't really know, because I didn't know her very well, obviously, and, like, I didn't know how to feel, because, like, everybody else in the entire joint was just sobbing and, like, weeping themselves into oblivion. And I'm just sitting here, like, like, I don't know how I, like, I don't know her. Like, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> and I feel bad, because I feel like I should be, like, extremely sad, but I don't, like, know how to react in that situation. Hey, Holmes, open your eyes, dog. Can't you see we're getting messed with here, huh? Hey, partner, T Bone, look, it's calm. <laughs> I see they both now made up after their weird, life. awkward fracas so, from last time. See? We still good. What are you, Vato, stupid? Someone's on to us. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying their luck. Mike, Mike, I've been trying to contact you. <laughs> Why are you whispering? What? Oh, man, who are you? Okay, just keep talking. Just keep talking while I put my hand out abnormally flat for some reason. Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Tight. Unfortunately, this means that we're gonna be on the timer, and that's never a good thing. All right, we're gonna move. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls. Where the fuck is Doherty? Is that that's okay? That's back where our where our save spot is. I know where that is. Damn, Motown Philly again. Tight. I'm so down with that. I needed that. I needed I needed the boys to men say that they were going on. For everything to be good in this in this world. Oh my god, why are these streets so like steep? <laughs> I mean I can't imagine that I was going like too fast down that, and then next thing you know, it's just wow okay, not really so much right there, but I mean you know what I'm you know what I'm dropping right now, you know what I'm saying? These these streets are just like they're so sharp. And like, we're talking like Sargento sharp cheddar here with the way those things just dip the hell down to nothing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's listen to K-Jaw. Some Jaw Rule, maybe. This is definitely not going to be Jaw Rule at all. That'd be funny, though. What would I be without my baby? Whoa! He says he can hear a truck reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Freight? Oh, they must be down at the dock. Get to the docks in Easter Basin. <laughs> Why would you say? Oh no! Wait, isn't Easter Basin the place where like you get like that immediate five-star wanted level just by you know going over there? I don't. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. I might be very wrong here, but that doesn't that doesn't seem like 
the best, you know, scenario to put ourselves in. Oh, no! Okay. Wait a minute. This isn't good. No, we, we need to not be on the freeway right now. This is bad. This is really not good, man. I need to get out of here. What the hell's going on? No, I need to get out of here. <laughs> I'm wasting valuable time right now with driving way off the beaten path. I understand that, you guys. <laughs> That was totally my fault from the get-go. I shouldn't even have, have done what I done did there. Okay. Now we're okay. Seemingly. Hopefully. I'm, like, begging for it to be okay. Actually. God, I'm going the wrong way again. Oh, wait, no, I can go down this way. I remember this area. I ran down here once. Oh, come on! Alright. <laughs> Not, not a very efficient way to do this. Okay, are we good now, or...? He says they stopped, then he heard gunfire. He thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot to the airport. Rapido. Oh, this better be the spot, then, because we don't really have a lot more time to be running around town for nothing. Uh, we need to go back up here. Okay, then we can we can definitely assume that they're at the airport. Then, thank God. So I totally uh, I totally found my new favorite channel on YouTube, or at least like one of my new favorite channels. It's so awesome. It's called uh, what's it called? It's called uh, Miniature Space. And <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's really my favorite when I'm struggling to remember the name of it. Uh, it's called Miniature Space, and it's like it's like this guy or collection of people. I don't really know exactly if it's one or the other. Oh, baby. Now what? Alright, we'll get back to this in a second. Gotta be getting close, man. Ah! I found you! Boom! I don't think you're gonna... Okay, so how do we... Oh, I guess these guys are gonna do the shooting for me. Kill those goons. <laughs> That's the... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn it. Alright. You guys wanna play messy, huh? We can, we can play messy. That's that's uh, that's part of my style. I can I can do I can dish whatever you're throwing. <laughs> I feel like that was, those guys were way more accurate than I was. Like that guy popped out for like a second. He's like, pip, pip, pop. I'm hey, sitting here like, ah! <laughs> with no with nothing. Who the fuck is this? Hey, I'm the guy that has saved your ass. Chill out, Mike. With your suit and tie and Walmart khakis like Jim Harbaugh. Is that James Woods? <laughs> Sounds like James Woods. That is James Woods, isn't it? <laughs> That's funny. It's either that or it's a guy that sounds remarkably a lot like him. Whoa, whoa, oh. Tight. I'm so down with this. Oh, how bad do I wanna get a I wanna get a gas tank shot? Yeah! Okay, let's go. Let's get the let's get in the limo. Let's get in the limo zine here. Okay. Come on, everybody get in. Let's go. We got a lot of stuff to do. Come on, let's go now. Okay. So yeah, dude, this miniature space channel, it's awesome. It's like this uh, this one guy, or like a, a number of guys, and you never actually see their face from what I understand. And uh, it's it's like an, it's like a cooking channel, but all the cooking that they do, they, they do it on like miniature cookware. And like all like miniature food, dude, it's so tight. The uh, the first video of it I saw, it was, uh, they were making sh uh, like tempura shrimp. And it was fucking awesome, like, they were using like these little tiny knives and like these little tiny bowls and like a little miniature stove. And like the heating element they used for the stove was like a little like a little tea candle. And it was really fucking cool. 
I, I've never seen anything like it before, and, like, I totally thought it was, like, fake for a minute. But, like, they, they heated the thing up, and they put, like, some oil in this little miniature pan, and then, uh... He, he, the guy, like, breaded, like, some little miniature pieces of shrimp and, like, threw them in there and it started sizzling and everything. And everything was all good. It was, it was weird. Oh, damn. Where's that pay and spray? I, it's over by the docks. I know that. We, we drove up by it once on accident. Uh, but, yeah, dude, it was awesome. And, like, I saw there's, like, a whole bunch of different things. Like, uh, they made, like, a, like, a birthday cake with one. Uh, where they had, like, this little tiny itty-bitty ladle that they were using to put, like, the, uh, like, the sprinkles and stuff. But what the hell was that? Did you see that? That cop car was, like, was, like, fixated into the ground. It, like, was, it, like, nosedived into the, into the cement. And then it, like, it was just stuck there. <laughs> I feel like the guy that was driving that's like, oh, yeah, this is one, one fine pickle I've gotten myself into. Just wait till the boss hears about this. Sanderson! How did you get your car stuck in the cement like that? You... I, I, I don't know. How do you not know? How do you possibly pull that off? It, like, defies everything against the world. Okay, here we go. Like, this... This one's coming straight out of your pocket, Sanderson. I had to do this same thing with Mahoney last Sunday. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Come on, man. Give me a break here, man. We gotta we gotta get up here and we gotta do the thing. Here we go. Alright. Still, I think it's a very weird place for one of these. Alright, to the Pleasure Domes? Oh, okay, that's, yeah, it's definitely back to the, to the strip club. <laughs> I just don't think I've heard it been referred to as the Pleasure Domes. Yes, let me let me reach let me reach under your butt and grab your wallet out of your pocket while you're driving because there's nothing distracting about that at all. Unless he's one of those dudes that, you know, keeps his wallet in his front pocket. I can't stand that. I, I've never been able to, uh... It's, it feels so uncomfortable for me. Like, I know that it's, it's actually not a good idea to have your wallet in your back pocket when you're, like, sitting down. Because it's bad for your, for, like, your alignment and whatever. But it just, it feels so awkward, you know, hauling it around in your front pocket. I feel like that's supposed to be a spot for, like, you know, your phone and, you know like your loose change and whatever out the hell else comes to your mind but definitely not the uh this is probably a really stupid idea this is a really stupid idea oh man i need to not do that not when i'm in the middle of you know trying to finish off a mission i think you know very uh, very boldly driving your car off a cliff hoping you'll land you know front and center is not the best idea um but yeah, I just, I, I can never do that. Uh, that's also another reason why I don't keep a lot of cash in my wallet, because, you know, at least when I do have it in my back pocket, at least it's comfortable, or a little bit. Damn, this guy's just walking around business, you know, business formal with an Uzi. It's pretty wild. Okay, well, let's go back and save. Well, I think that'll be about the right time to do that, because I'm, I'm really hungry right now. I've got to eat, like, my... That headache is not getting any better, and I think it's because my my blood sugar and my protein levels are not looking so hot right now. But yeah, dude, go check out that channel. It's called Miniature Space, and they've got all sorts of cool little things. Like they've they've made like miniature pancakes. They've done like like miniature fried chicken. They did that shrimp tempura one, which is cool. They do like a lot of different like Asian dishes, as it is like a I think it's like a Korean or like a Japanese channel. Because uh, like all of their all of their video titles have like you know like the like the Oriental symbols in there, so you you know it's obviously not an American channel if it's featuring those things. So uh, yeah, dude, it's tight though. It's it uh, it like really made me want to go out and like buy some of those things, which I did not realize that there were places that you could just buy like full on sets of stuff like that. They even have like these little miniature itsy bitsy plates and like silverware 
and bowls and all that stuff. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's really cool. That stuff intrigues me, like, to the absolute maximum. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's just run over three or four people right in front of the police. In the gay district of San Fierro, nonetheless, where people are supposed to be, you know, extra nice to each other. <laughs> yep. Let's go right on around here. Alright. Oh, God, here we go. Alright. God, this is, this is such a weird place. <laughs> There's, like, nothing here in this in this area it seems normal. It's just all over the place. I feel like I'm waiting for, like, when the cops come by, there's gonna be, like, people on the street, like, There he goes! There's that son of a bitch! There's the son of a bitch that ran over those three people! God damn it! <laughs> no, no! No! No, no, no! Oh my god, that would've been a nightmare! Getting a little bit too, either too slow or too quick with the buttons and joystick there. My god, that was... That was so close to being bad. And we went too far. Ugh. I feel like my sense of reality is just all over the place right now. I can't remember where I'm going. You know what I say? The eye the monkey climb the more exposed, man. This is rubber up in his fullest. What did that guy say? <laughs> as soon as he said his name, like I lost every single part of that. He's like, Hey, I live in like to the full of the My name is Okay. We're good. We're good. We did it without dying, even though I almost pushed us there a couple times. That was that was close to being bad. All right, my friends. Well, we have we have come to a certain point, and that certain point is next time on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. We're going to driving school. School's in session, and I'm 28, and I'm going back to school. So when you guys uh, when you guys see me next, my uh, my blood sugar will be in. But what is this guy doing? <laughs> Why was he running like that? He runs weird. Uh, yeah, when we come back, we're going to go to driving school and see what that has in store. So until then, my friends, I'm going to go uh, cook up some animal parts and some fruit, and I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to feel good. And then I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.